A petition is set to be tabled in Parliament later this month in the hope it will lead to a select committee inquiry into euthanasia. It follows the judgment in the Right to Die case of Lucretia Seals, where Justice Collins ruled only our politicians can make a law change on the issue. And I would agree with that. Labour MP Ian Lees Galloway will table the petition and joins us now live from Palmerston North. Ian, thanks for your time this morning. Um, you're, you're going to table this petition before the end of the month, is that right? Yeah, that's the plan. The, uh, the people who are driving the petition plan to close it off on the 20th of this month, uh, and then that should mean I can probably table it in about the second week of the next sitting session. How many, how many names are we talking? I mean, uh, how many signatures to this petition? Is it phenomenal? No, and I think they've got over 3,000 so far. Okay. Look, this is this is a small group of volunteers. Uh, they don't have huge resources behind them, so the fact they've managed to gather 3,000 uh, is pretty spectacular. Um, hopefully uh, there's a bit of awareness uh, in the next couple of weeks about it and they'll be able to gather a few more. All right. Um, have you got the support of your Commander-in-Chief, Andrew Little, because he told you to drop this idea in December, didn't he? Yeah, Andrew and I had a, a good conversation about this and we see this as a way forward because what we're looking for is a cross-party approach. Yes. And I think on an issue as sensitive as this, people don't want us to play politics, they don't want it to be a political football, uh, we want it to be something that Parliament works on together and taking it to select committee, uh, if we are to get the inquiry will mean that the national MPs on a select committee will have to support it as well, uh, so it really would be a cross-party yeah. approach. And, and, and I think you're Andrew absolutely right. Way no, I think you're absolutely right, I think this is definitely one of those issues that needs to be bipartisan, have, have bipartisan support. Um, how, though, do, so you've got a petition with, say, 3,000 names on it. How do you parlay that into a select committee? How are you going to transition it? Well, every petition has to go to a select committee. It's then over to the select committee how they respond. Whether to they it adopt it or they not. Have it. Well, that's right, and there's, there's a range of responses that the select committee could have. Uh, we see it as a real opportunity to trigger the wide-ranging debate that the public clearly wants us to have, and it's an opportunity for us to hear all the evidence, to hear people on both sides of the debate, because uh, actually I thought Matt Vickers made a really important point on Friday last week when he said this issue has never been to select committee, it's never no, been right. something yeah. that the public have been able to have their say on. So that's what we'd like to have happen. You know, and the interesting thing is I was talking to the Prime Minister about it earlier today and he is not particularly of the impression that the select committee is the right place to have this conversation even although I firmly believe it is and there are many national ministers uh, actually that believe it is uh, and then of course you've got uh, Bill English who's absolutely staked his claim that you know he's he's in favour of the status quo and that's the way he would vote do you think there is much hope of this actually being reasonably dis discussed and giving the public an opportunity to have their say? Well, I hope there is. I, I think the work that Lucretia Seals did and, and others have done has shifted the public debate. It's made it really clear to politicians mm. this is something that people want us to look at. And I think the Select Committee is exactly the right place. Ultimately, everything ends up at Select Committee, even, even if there was a bill. One of the most important phases of passing legislation in Parliament is that it goes to Select Committee where the public get to have their say. Uh, I, I think the, the inquiry approach is a better one because it, it takes the pressure off a little bit, it deeper politicises the issue, but allows us to have the full wide-ranging debate that we need right. to have. Where do you stand I, I on it, Ian? We, I think politicians need to be attuned to what the public are saying. Yeah. Where do you stand on it, Ian? Oh, look, I'm personally in favour. This is the sort of thing that probably should be a conscious vote, uh, a conscience vote, I should say. Uh, but personally, uh, I'm in favour, and I think we can get the balance right uh, and get some legislation that ultimately is fit for purpose that, that gives people the choice that people are asking for, but also protects people yeah, as well. Yeah, and that is the issue. Is it possible to put those protections in place and make them 100% foolproof? Well, the great thing about a select committee inquiry is that we could look at all the international evidence. We're certainly not the first jurisdiction to look at this. No, there are plenty true. of places around the world that have already put in end-of-life choice measures. We can see how those are working. Uh, we can reflect on that. We can look at all the international evidence. We can listen to what people in New Zealand are saying, and we can come up uh, with a structure that works well, uh, that, that provides the protections that people are looking for. All right. Um, Ian, just very quickly, have you, have you got a measure of the public on this, do you think? I mean, I know it's very hard to be anywhere near 100% accurate, but do you think there is a mood for euthanasia with the right, with the right checks and balances? 
I think there is. Uh, there's been a couple of surveys done, um, robust independent surveys that have indicated between 70 and 80 percent support amongst the public. Uh, people always do raise the issue that, that, that needs to be properly drafted, mm -hmm. there needs to be proper uh, protections in place. Uh, but I think there is certainly a mood for us to have the debate, for us to give people the opportunity to come to Parliament and express their views and for us to look at the evidence. Uh, and then once we've done that, we'll, we'll be a, it'll be a good foundation for us to move forward from All right. there. Ian, thank you very much. Ian Lees Galloway, uh, Labour Party List MP, and he will be presenting that petition to Parliament before the end of the month.